Week 7, Exercise 1. Program Specification. Program must ask the user for a number. Program will only accept numbers from 5 to 15. The input will serve as the limit of the loop. Use for loop in displaying the output. The output for even numbers are alternating dashes and asterisk. The output for odd numbers are asterisk for the first, last, and middle value and dashes in between. Output 1. Input is 3. And then the output is only numbers from 5 to 15 are accepted. Output 2. Enter a number, 14. The output is an alternating asterisk and dashes. And then output 3, enter a number, 5. The output are asterisk in the first, middle, and last value, and then dashes in between. The answer to the exercise is already given. So here is the input part. Here is the part where we will test if the input is within the range of accepted numbers, 5 and 15. And else, the output where it would said only numbers from 5 to 15 are accepted. Inside this condition is another condition. Condition for testing if the input is an even number or if the input is an odd number. So let's go first for the even numbers even numbers so we have the for loop and then integer i we usually use i as the counter but this time we'll be using it as i i is equal to one i must be less than or equal to num which is the limit and then i plus plus so the first iteration of the loop let's trace the output let's assume that the number or the input is six num is equal to six so the current value of i is 1. So is i modulo 1 equals to 0 false because i is an odd number. So the first output would be an asterisk. And then i plus plus value of i would become 2 and then i condition is i less than or equal to num which is 2 is 2 less than or equal to 6 so i modulo 2 equals to 0 which is true it would print dash and then once it's done with the condition we'll increment the i again i would become 3 and then 3 modulo 2 is it equal to 0 false because 3 is an odd number so it would go here it would print an asterisk and then i plus plus i would become 4 i would become 4 and then num is 4 less than or equal to 6 it is an odd number so it would go on this condition so it would print a dash and then i would increment again to 5 so 5 is an odd number, so it will go on else, printing another asterisk. And then I plus plus again, 6. Is 6 less than or equal to num? True. 6 is an even number, so it would go on this condition. And then it would print dash. And then I plus plus. I would increment to 7. Is 7 less than or equal to num? The answer is false. And the output is dash, asterisk, dash, asterisk, dash, and asterisk. So we got the output, the correct answer for the given even number. What if the input is add number? Let's say the input is 5. The user input is 5. We added plus 1 to num divided by 2 because middle is an integer. So if we divide 5 by 2, the answer is 2.5. So since uh, middle is an integer number, it would only get 2. So if we don't add plus 1, it won't have the number. 
So the, uh, currently, middle is equal to num, which is 5 divided by 2. That's equal to 2.5 and then plus 1. It, uh, it would omit 5. So the answer is 3. Uh, let's go to the loop. Let's trace the output. I Again, INTI, which is a counter. INTI is equal to 1. Is I less than or equal to num, which is 5, and then I plus plus. So since I is equal to 1, it would fall on this condition. It would print an asterisk. And then it won't do these conditions. I would increment. I is now equal to 2. Is 2 less than or equal to num? True. It would not fall on this condition, nor on this, so it would fall on else. It would print an or a dash. Next is it would increment again. I plus plus, I is equal to 3. And then, if I is equal equal to num, or uh, I is equal equal to 1, System that auto print asterisk, so it would not go in this condition. But since i is equal to 3 and then the value of middle is 3, it would fall on this condition, which it would print an asterisk. It will not fall on this condition because it already did this condition. So another is i plus plus. Current value of i would become 3 and 4. 4 would fall on else. And then I plus plus again, 5. Where would 5 fall? Num is equal to 5. So it will fall on this condition because I is currently 5 and then num is equal to 5. And we're using or condition. So it would print an asterisk. And then another is I plus plus. Because of this, we will test the condition again. Is 6 less than or equal to num? False. So it will end the loop. Let's test the program. Let's try a number below 5. Okay, another input. Let's try 5. Another input. Let's try 6. And that's the output. 